Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. But when you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Freeze it. We try to work as one, which symbolizes that we are all connected. We act as one. We try to, we move as one. We feel that connection, that really, really strong connection with each other so that our movements express that sense of unity and, um, and emotional depth and to allow the people watching to join in with that and have that space where they can feel that too.
and to allow the people watching to join in with that.
bodies have been stolen, but whose souls are still here. The son of us people whose bodies have been stolen, but whose souls are still here. We're crying out that we struggle on our behalf. We call on the name of John Court. We call on Marquisha Wilson. We call on George Jackson. So we call on Mama Ella Baker into this space. We call on Mama Ida B. Wells into this space. Ashe. We call on Martin Luther King into this space. Ashe. says from religion news black lives matter is a spiritual movement says co-founder patrice colors and so then as i read into the article notice what the article says two of the founders here speaking it says abdullah and colors touched on the practice of calling out the names of the victims that they advocate for in protest and demonstrations it's kind of a way to invoke their spirits so they're invoking the spirits of the dead of those that have suffered at the hands of police injustice. Then it says, uplifting the names of victims goes beyond creating hashtags, Color said. It is literally almost resurrecting a spirit so that they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done, she said. So in other words, the spirit of this dead person coming into them to be able to carry out their protests and their mission that they feel led to do. This is spiritualism, brothers and sisters. If this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it. All right, and I could be speaking phys phys uh, figuratively. Okay. I could be speaking literally. It's a matter of interpretation. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. How many times do I have to come on here and tell you when the news, when all of the news is coming? 
promoting something, it is a it's a bigger picture behind it. It's fake. Of marches, you know, time Black Lives Matter. Them. They know they're racist. Get ready to fight them. If they don't bring peace, they know what's gonna happen. One solution. Revolution. All Black Lives UK. Black Lives Matter US UK. Justice for Black Lives. Justice for Black Lives. All Trans Lives Matter. All Trans Lives Matter. One solution. Revolution. One solution. One solution. Revolution. My name is John Fitzgerald Johnson, and I am running for the presidency of the United States. Along with Lord Kelso, we intend to reform this country of the people, by the people, for the people. Not career politicians, but real people trying to make a change per the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. If you don't vote Republican or Democrat, you're not losing your vote. You're casting your vote. The only wasted vote is a vote that's not cast. So cast your vote for Kelso Johnson. God bless you, and only you can fix us. Uh, to Major Gregory, who is the head of the of the Law Enforcement Command, the Special Ops Command, and the Special Ops Command for the City of Louisville, 
uh, Kentucky, who worked along with the NFAC very closely. Who worked along with the NFAC very closely. To ensure that there would be no incidents, to make sure that we got all the room to do what we needed to do, and to be on hand to wow. respond to any emergency that may have popped up. How the fuck y'all think the cops got there so quick and the ambulance was already there? They was already parked there because we agreed for them to have that. How the fuck y'all think the cops got there so quick and the ambulance was already there? They was already parked there because we agreed for them to have that. Because of some shit like this might happen. And that, that's a setup. That's a, that's a stage. Dude, you're exposing yourself. You got paramedics and the police already a part of this fucking agenda then. Dude, you just sat there and said that you got special ops. What? Bro, that's like something. You might just come out and say, yo, we got the CIA, you know what I'm talking about. You know, we got the shadow government and shit and all that. They was out there waiting and shit, watching shit. Told y'all when all of the news promote something, it is fake. We have a much more vibrant society when we don't have such a vast chasm between the haves and the have not. Problem that bothers me, you said black lives matter. I've worked here hard time. Plus, I'm a part owner of this school. You said black lives matter. Why don't you choke me? I'm black. Look what you did to my store. Look! Look what you did to my sister. That's right, because I got their back. These lines right here. Good man. Good man. Look! The Black Lives Matter. We've been here all night cleaning up. All night cleaning. And we got black people standing right here with us. Black me. Black Lives Matter. We will burn down this sister. We need uh, that middle ground that we call the middle class. The people who buy everything, people who use the, the products that the rich are creating if they're creating anything other than their own, right? If somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike, because that makes sure that that person eats, that makes sure that that person has clothes. Is reparations anything they want to take take it because these businesses have insurance they're gonna get their money back you wanted to move to the store you needed money get a job like I do stop stealing this is the neighborhood we try to build it up and you tan it down how are we going to get rid of racism and stop talking about it?
I'm gonna stop calling you a white man. And I'm gonna ask you to stop calling me a black man. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth distribution or either a mindset that you can't? Today? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. I don't. I don't. You and I, we are proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. It's a good excuse for not.